Ah, something don't feel too good. I'm sorry, fool. So what's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I source worked to child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserve to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug, and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fools' heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fools' heads, it's assholes' heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planting lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> Shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new Mollus, sort of a super Mollus, and it's called Priapolds. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA. Now, he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using Mollus, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man, all right, fuck it, I got you. I thought that you would. Now... Consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs. You know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm gonna make the investment. We don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone.
Let's move it out, people! We need this area clear! Keep your eye out for anything unusual. Let's see if we can get through one day without some wannabe hippie waving an anti-globalization sign in my face. We got a shooter! Take cover! Shots fired! Shots fired! Man, you get what you give out, Mr. Lowry. It's done. I know. Good work. All right. Well, she. Let me know about the next thing. Will do. Uh, but before that, I've got to tell you something. Our investment portfolio is getting a little uh, successful, so I figured we needed some tangible assets and you know, property. So we bought a house in the Vinewood Hills. Yeah, sure, man. Whatever. You know best about this shit. And we needed someone to live there you know, for tax purposes, so some guys are moving your stuff in. Oh, shit! Meaning I don't have to live with my crazy ass aunt no more? Man, I don't know what the fuck to say, dawg. Don't say anything, especially if a man in a suit comes to the door. Ah, I'm joking, that probably isn't gonna happen. It's yours, enjoy it. 3671 Wispy Mound Drive. How you doing? Hey, great. Really great. How are you? Well, I know how you are. Do you? Yes. It's obvious. It's really obvious. Once you've studied the literature and done the classwork and studied in a group, it's really obvious. I'm getting really close now. Close to everything. And you, well, you're still lost. You live in the happiest place in the world, and yet you feel like life is passing you by? That's because you don't know anything at all. Everything you know is a lie. Everything. Listen, brother, if you're interested in the truth, go to EpsilonProgram.com and prepare to be amazed. Remember, the tract has not yet been written. Okay. Hey, live with your doubts, brother, brother. I'm happy with my certainties. Anyone?
means every gentleman from all walks of life. I notice. I, I have these desires, and I can't control them. Me too. Desires to kill everyone in a violent, testosterone-fueled rage. My, my voice is changing, and I can shoot laser beams out of my eyes. Look! Feel my wrath, whore! Let's get back to base. We need to regroup. Zoe, Zoe, don't make me smite you. Yes. Smite me! Team, that is the spirit. It's so good to see young people motivated in a positive way. Oh my, what happened to you guys? It was horrible, Mr. Hitsman. The girls weren't wearing pants. Please, the vapors are enough to kill a man. Do you hear me, Zoe and Tallulah? You've been cursed. No! Now, gather round. I have a plan. During tomorrow night's game, you sneak into the science wing of Wickenburg High, rescue the stem cells, and set them free in the forest, saving America in the process. What's a plan? Pay no attention to that now, Dirk, for it is time for the grand finale! Harvey <laughs> Hills Academy rules! Game on, Kung Fu Laser Girls, you hosers. You think you can defeat our alternative agenda quite so easily? Well, while you're out harvesting stem cells, we shall be harvesting you. Hey, hey. <laughs> Ow. Kung Fu Rainbow Laser Boys. Truck, huh? Yeah, fuck it, why not? Take me to my father, father, brother, uncle, Kiflam. Yo, peace, brother, brother. <laughs> Kiflam. Oh, Kiflam. really? Oh!
The big empty house. 